Hey, Mike with Marketing Systems by Design here, the channel where we help cleaning business owners generate more traffic for their websites, increase leads, and get new clients through digital marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering how to advertise in a cleaning business with Google My Business, so let's get into it. So the first thing that you might be wondering is what is Google My Business? Well, basically it's a free platform that Google put together where you can list your business and in doing so, this is a great way to advertise your cleaning business as it can generate a lot of free traffic phone calls for your business and help you generate leads as well. And so to get things set up, you actually wanna just head to google.com forward slash business. And the first step you're gonna do once you're there is you're just gonna log in. So if you have an existing Google account uh, that you use for your business, definitely do that. Or you can even create a brand new one specific for your business. And when you do that, it's actually just gonna ask you a series of questions where you can fill out more more information about your business. Now, a lot of businesses, what they do is they just kind of set this up and they forget about it. They don't really fill it out that well. And so at your job to profitably do this and actually make sales, generate leads, generate more traffic through Google My Business page is actually fully fill this out. So it's gonna ask you things like your name, like your business name, um, your address, your phone number. And then one big key thing that you wanna do as a cleaning business it's gonna ask you if you uh, actually deliver goods and services to your clients. And this is very important to select that option because as a cleaning business, you're not gonna be cleaning people's homes or cleaning people's businesses at your actual business location. You go to them. So it's important to check this as it can help you do better and rank better using Google My Business. When you do this, when you set this up, the next thing that you wanna do is actually get your page verified. And each business really has their own different way of doing this. Google doesn't necessarily give the same options to every single business that goes through this, but some of the common ones is you can verify by mail, uh, by phone, or by email, and then there's a few others as well. So basically, you'll see a list of, list of options that you can do as a business. Uh, just do the one that makes sense for you to actually verify your business. And again, why you wanna do this is this actually helps legitimize your business as well. So if you don't have your business verified, it's just another level of you know concern for people that visit the page where it is verified. It's just another thing of uh, confirming your legitimacy as a business. The next thing is once you can actually log in, you can click on the info section of your Google My Business page and there's gonna be various aspects that you can fill out. Now, one thing to understand is if you're marketing your cleaning business and looking to advertise your cleaning business effectively with Google My Business, the more you can fill out, the better. So you wanna do things like your service area, which is very important as a service business and a local business. So make sure you do that, include things like your hours. And when you put your phone number down, make sure that it's a phone number that people can actually answer. It's kind of funny, we were talking to one of our clients a couple days ago, and one thing that they brought up is that uh, a potential lead was calling around at different cleaning businesses, and their business was actually the only one that answered out of like four or five that they called. And so uh, if you have your phone number down, actually be there, be there responsive, make sure somebody's there to answer those calls. Same thing with an email that you might put down. You want it to be very active and be able to respond to people as quickly as possible because if people are searching for a cleaning business on Google, you know they're gonna go through the top ones on the list and if no one answers, they're just gonna move on to the next business. So it's very important to actually fill that out correctly. Also make sure that your business name, uh, the address and the phone number are the same across all platforms. So you might list your business on various directories online as well. And that can be a negative signal uh, to Google if your different name, address and phone number, we call it NAP, is different uh, across various platforms, across various locations on the internet. So again, you wanna have that be congruent, especially on your Google My Business page. Another major aspect that you wanna focus on with your Google My Business page is actually putting 
photos on there. You know, one mistake we find a lot of business owners make is that they actually just put generic stock photos on there, kind of photos that are irrelevant or don't even do photos at all. And so this is actually a very important aspect to your Google My Business page because typically what happens if you set it up properly, uh, you start getting reviews, your page can actually rank uh, in that map pack. But what happens is that where you put your physical location, typically that's mainly the one place that you might rank well uh, in the search engines. However, if you put a lot of different photos, you can actually geo-target them and geo-tag them to specific service areas that you work in. So if you're putting photos up, you can tag different areas that you do business in, and that can actually help you rank better uh, in the Google Maps for your Google My Business listing. So something very important uh, to do. Another thing on your photos that you put up there, you want it to be your employees. Uh, this is very important, especially you know happy, smiling uh, employee photos when they're working in people's homes is very important because when it comes to a cleaning business, a lot of people are kind of hesitant or they don't necessarily feel 100% comfortable just letting random strangers into their home. And so in order to overcome that barrier, you wanna put up a lot of different pictures of your happy, smiling employees because if they can put a face to the company, a face to the people that are actually going to be into their home, uh, that can go a long way to help develop trust and then again, have them choose your business over another business. And so very powerful strategy to use. Um, on top of this, another aspect that you definitely want to utilize if you're going to advertise your cleaning business effectively with Google My Business is to focus on getting reviews. Uh, social proof is very powerful. Other people out there want to see how your company stacks up, especially when they're comparing different companies, they're gonna look at that review section. And if you don't have any reviews or you barely have any, it's not really a good sign. So the more reviews that you can get, the better. I know that's one service that we work with with our clients is helping them get more quality reviews for their Google My Business page, for their website and their business. And again, more social proof just means a better reason for people to choose you over other people. On top of that, when you actually go to like a Google My Business listing or just search for something like a cleaning business near me or a cleaning business in your city, what happens is they list the different uh, cleaning companies in that Google Map. And more often than not, the company that has the most reviews is going to actually show up first in that listing. And so again, just another very powerful reason if you're looking to advertise your cleaning business of why you need to focus on reviews in your Google My Business page. Because again, the company that has the most reviews, it just makes it more legitimate. Uh, people, again, have that social proof aspect and then they're gonna choose your business, your company over someone else. So again, focus on these aspects of a Google My Business page, set it up for your cleaning business as it's one of the most effective ways of how to generate leads for a cleaning business and how to advertise your cleaning business effectively. And again, if you struggle with this or it doesn't make sense, this is again one aspect that we do with our clients is help them set up and maintain their Google My Business page. So if you're looking to learn more about that, head on over to marketingsystemsbydesign.com forward slash checkup and then fill that quick survey out so we can see how we can help you grow your cleaning business faster and more effectively with digital marketing. And also in general, if you're struggling to generate quality leads for your cleaning business, we actually put together a free video training walking you through the top 10 lead sources for cleaning business owners. So if you'd like to get access to that, there's a link below this video. Just go ahead and click that. It's totally free and we'll walk you through the top lead sources for cleaning business owners as well. So again, just click the link below this video to get access to that as well. But again, if you got some benefit and value out of this video, feel free to comment and share and be sure to subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't yet and turn on those bell notifications to get the latest updates and training to help you build a profitable cleaning business with digital marketing. But once again, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.